All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And Tobra. And today we're going to be watching another Star Wars of uh, the Old Republic Knights of the Eternal Throne Betrayed trailer. Wow, they get longer every time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we watched the other one. Everybody was saying the sacrifice one. We we actually already watched that when we were doing like prep for a short film. So Nightail Brush had already seen that. Yeah, so yeah. I figured we just watched this one. Everybody said this was the, the final one. I believe I've actually seen this one, but you haven't. Um, you know, these are really cool, awesome Star Wars cinematics. Let us know what other cinematics you guys want us to watch after this. Um, there's Star Wars, there's Overwatch, we can go back to League of Legends. It's really up to you guys. Give us some more options as far as the next uh, gaming cinematic to watch for our Saturdays. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. And let's just get into Star Wars, The Old Republic, Knights of Eternal, The Throne, Betrayed trailer. Say that three times fast. Let's get into it. And I have absolutely no idea when this takes place. So the other three were connected, like yes. That little and remember three. that the the two the one with the two brothers, I believe that's connected to this one because she okay, has the same yeah, kind of armor wondering. and stuff. But these are way more new. Like the the like the quality is insane. <laughs> so those yeah, are the two boys. I think we saw that scene. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, now there's more like lore stuff to talk about at the end. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah, she's strong. She's got the force. What's that whispering? <laughs> that looks real. The one thing I'm more... I mean, the ending of the last one was kind of dark. Yes. So... Ooh, whoa. <laughs> oh, holy... <laughs> That's the, uh... That's the is guy. The, the dad? Is that the master? Whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so this is gonna go dark, I think, because we know this guy's up to no good. Yeah. Okay, so and that's sick. just like straight <laughs> evil, bro. Like, but she's so strong. It's like she just almost doesn't do well with the small steps. Like she has such yeah. natural power. Well, I feel like it's her the difference in emotion, right? Yeah. It's like her anger is the thing that triggers it. Huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was a that was a really cool like time yeah. lapse thing. She's got the Sith. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, and that's the beginning scene. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so she's gonna go. <laughs> oh, what the heck? But she has like, she has some sort of like control though. Some. Like but those soldiers were helping her there. Sure. <laughs> we're back. I wonder if she is like, she is like a whatever. I, I don't know if you can even. I don't call think them they, like they are a Jedi. I think they're like Ahsoka. Yeah. Where they're in the middle. I cannot get over the animation. Like, look at the water, dude. Yeah, it's it's super. <laughs> it's <funny>. so clean. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> this is gonna be a toughie. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. <laughs> Whoa, so she's, she's going ham. <gasps> Whoa, what the Ooh. heck? <sighs> oh, 
Oh shoot, she's not gonna go with her. No, nah, she's too far gone or something, right? Great. See, those soldiers yeah. seem to be like, um, like the more generic sort of soldiers, not like the weird, like, cult like people. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. seem to kind of be on her side or something. Feels like two factions. Naginata like yeah, 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 like lightsaber. <laughs> oh. It's her. It's her, dude. yeah. I'm assuming this is <laughs> progress some time yeah. later. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a little carving thing she had. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Holy, bro. <laughs> this is like a final boss, like, stage. Oh, snap. Yeah, so I mean, look, I can't really help cool. you out with with lore. I actually uh -huh. want the comments to help us because I don't know yeah, anything yeah, yeah. about these games. But wasn't that just like an awesome short oh, film? That was so cool. I I love the um kind of like the creativity of like you know it's definitely Star Wars, but there's like a little bit of like a little twist to it, right? Yeah, I really think with these games, like I don't know if you remember the Brothers trailer and this one, mm -hmm. they're really coming into their own. I know the the complaint about the older Republic games that we watched the trailers for uh -huh. was like, oh, it's kind of like Star Wars, even though it's supposed to be thousands of years before. Whereas yeah, this yeah. it really does feel like it could be thousands of years before. It does yeah. feel different. It feels kind of cultish. At least they're at least they're trying to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It, de it definitely f like feels like. You know, like Star Wars, but like you know, different. Older, different. There's more yeah. cult. It almost feels ancient, right? The way the the force is used feels more like magic, almost. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I like that. Honestly, I like. Um, I don't even know what to call her. Like the Sith. Yeah. Like her daughter. Yeah. What I think is her daughter, right? I, you're trained anyway. Or like her apprentice. Like apprentice, or yeah. But I like her. Uh, like the cool. It's cool to see her like kind of like slowly like turn and then like her final like honestly like the design it looks it looks super cool i mean because one of the biggest things is like and don't get me wrong i love like the masks and stuff that like sith a lot of times have but you don't usually get like um like a hardcore sith that like fully like shows the face or does it have like some sort of like special scar or something it's like that, the coolest right? part about anakin before or, or i guess vader before he gets injured the way he does yeah. it's like he's so cool with just like the red Sith yeah. eyes it's cool because it's like when you have the mask it, it really feels like separated like okay Sith and then like Jedi but then like now you kind of like see and because you saw her before it was like oh okay just like Anakin is like I still see the you in you you know yeah. it's like you're not I don't yeah. know it's it's really it's really interesting and then um well I mean obviously the animation is freaking insane right? it's like <laughs> I mean half the time it's like wait is this are we live action no, or are we not really? right you know it's hey, like and it's then just crazy. like the particles and stuff and the, the lightning I, oh yeah the lighting and stuff and the creativity like to like um to show like the you know her igniting the I'm assuming like the fuel yeah. or the oil right it's like all oh, like I, I still think my favorite part is when she she first does it when she's facing off against the guys that are trying oh yeah, yeah yeah and you just see the like particles of the wood splitting yeah. off and you see the armor slowly crushing it's so it's like it's not gratuitous it's but it's super powerful well yeah like the also the feeling like her her like um the way she like handles her body the way she she doesn't make any big movements she's kind of just sitting there and she like looks as it like comes close to her and she's just sitting as everything starts to levitate it looks so sick yeah. bro it's like yeah. you know she's not exerting a ton of force but she's like doing this crazy like epic thing you yeah. know now the power behind it's just awesome and then um like plot wise like it's interesting to see that like um the 
ruler person, the dad. Yeah, somebody sort of explain dude. some of the plot of the stuff. Actually, I'd be curious in the comments. Yeah, he he's. Um, it seems like um, he doesn't have like complete control or there's some sort of like faction thing but there's also sith and jedi in this universe let's not forget that because remember when we see the brothers trailer they kill a sith lord and a jedi we see yeah both. so it's like but it's like they kind of utilize both aspects yes but they're on the same side it's uh-huh. almost like their philosophies are honestly the same as both sith and jedi yeah yeah right but because of that difference in philosophy there's like some sort of like civil war or something right it seems like yeah. a little bit of a civil like well because she in- seems like more good and like disciplined whereas he's just like oh your daughter or apprentice whatever is like strong in the force we're gonna use her to the point where she's not even her anymore well even there like i remember the last um the la- the one before this the mm. uh that's in the same like yeah. story or whatever like the way that the i'm assuming the father of the twins yeah. right because he was trying to, one of the twins was trying to get his approval, and then he killed the other brother, right? Yeah. And it, then he welcomed in. It feels very like the philosophy is similar to like how the Sith kind of like operate almost. Yeah. You know? Well, because also if you think about it, right, the Jedi are are they're all about fighting your remote. And I mean, this is <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. going to the fly here, so if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but the Jedi are all about like you know restraining yourself, like restraining yeah. your emotions, right? But if you, I feel like if you give in. Like, it's really hard to be like, oh, I'm balanced, but I also have my emotions. It's like, yeah. if you give give equal audience to your emotion and your your mind, the emotion's going to win every time. Mm-hmm. And so then in this, where it's like, yeah, they're in the middle, but, you know, what's going to be stronger? That emotion, that anger. Why is she stronger in the force? That anger, right? And so you're mm-hmm. always going to, I feel like if you don't do anything actively against it, you're going to lean a little bit um, to the dark side almost. Well, yeah, and... The- my my question is is like, you know, even though they may at least this group, um, whatever they are, seem to be kind of um, in the middle as far as like Jedi and Sith almost go. like politics of it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of yeah. like there's no, it's it's almost too hard for them to be in the middle, and they start to like they themselves start to split, right? Yeah, and even and though they don't call that. themselves yeah. Sith or Jedi. Very clearly, her way of life, her philosophy is way more um, Jedi-like than whoever the ruler person is, right? He is very, at least he he likes to lean more toward, like, the weird cult-like feel and the dark side, right? Yeah, which I love. By the way, that whole aspect of it, the aesthetic of the white, the armor, all of yeah. the... You know, they actually reminded me of... Do you remember the Easterlings in Lord of the Rings? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They actually they remind do. me of the Easterlings. A ton. But I love that. I love the aesthetic of everybody. All the Knights of the Old Republic, or whatever they're called, the Knights, I think is what they're called. I like her armor. I like his. All of that. It's so well done. No, yeah, yeah. It's really um, cool. I, I, I'm personally, it's my, I love that sort of aesthetic. And it's yeah. just cool to see it in like... Um, Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. Did you notice, too, actually something I was watching in that fight scene when she fights all the guards, uh-huh. I actually like it a little bit better than um, the old, the other Old Republic. It's like just a tiny bit more grounded, uh-huh. and I thought that was like the perfect blend. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, there's the always that argument of like, oh, there's too much acrobatics in the fight. And honestly, I've watched, like, I don't know if you know, um, like, I forgot what his name Skull something and okay. there's like um you know there's a lot of there's a, a decent amount of YouTubers that like um what do you call it they've researched like the sword fighting yeah like sword play like you know medieval yeah, sword yeah, play yeah. and stuff it and does look like that they really like I mean it's very I don't know if I'd say it, it, that looks like that but um they always have this argument of like you know, it should be more realistic or this move isn't that realistic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is, is I think, something that defends Lucas. Like, because I've seen a few videos like that about his fights, uh-huh. whereas even though they're more flary, I've seen a lot of, um, or not a lot of, I've seen a few people break it down and be like, if, when you're really doing sword fighting, this is what happens. Because in some of the other stuff, they have these really big movements and they're like, you're completely exposed. It's like if you boxed just going for an uppercut, right, the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Whereas they're like these really flashy movements, it's almost like they're just trying to juke each other, well, and yeah. it's like you're just looking for a little opening, especially because you're you have a laser sword. You touch them and they're dead. Yeah, and also, I mean, if we want to go off on that sort of like you know 
train of thought, um, if you think about it kind of like, um, like MMA or something, I mean, like, have you ever seen like a, a spin kick, you know, or a, like, you know, one of those flashy moves that you're like, well, why would you turn your back? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, people do it all the time. Right. Yeah. And there's different reasons for that. You know, I mean, I took Taekwondo. I freaking I've hit a few people in the head with my kick, you know? Yeah. It's like and I wasn't like, oh, straightforward, the most efficient. No, nah, bro. I'd be like faking and then I'd like, you know, spin and boom and hit you in the head. It's like there's an actual like you have to get a little complex because it's not just straightforward. Right. No. But also I, I also um, want to defend like even if it isn't as realistic. I mean, sometimes you got to do that. Right. I honestly movie. enjoy movies got a movie. Yeah, I enjoy. There's a certain art to that. You know, of course, you don't want it to like go overboard. And no. it's like, OK, well, what's no. happening? You know, like Avatar The Last Airbender movie. You're like, bro, like you don't need to put this many movements. But like I, I, I appreciate a certain amount of like movie theatrics that go into the fighting you know of course and so like and if you look at anything else in a movie they do that nobody analyzes parts of a movie the way they analyze a fight yeah and they do the same thing for a free like listen to the way people talk sometimes in a movie it's like you would never have that conversation yeah. i mean like I, I i would appreciate if it's like you know it's very realistic or something but honestly you like, don't though if you watch those movies that are completely realistic it's kind of boring yeah i mean but I, like i'd be like okay i i i admire that you are trying to go for the more realistic side it might take a little more work of like learning how the actual swords are used and stuff like that but if i'm gonna be honest i kind of want to see a matrix <laughs> fight scene you know you know because the movies are for entertainment yes. and so I, I am honestly even though this one you're saying like it does feel a little more grounded i 100 percent think so um, I, I, I honestly am fine with either. I kind of honestly, I'm leaning a little more toward the fantastical side of it of the first three ones. Okay. Um, because I just like the, the fast, I don't know, just the, the way that they move is, is cooler to me. It, it's still like, to me, I, this is still very cool, My, my one thought, and I, I actually, why I like this narratively uh -huh. is I think our, our MC is less, has less for sensitivity and so then by doing that when you see the main girl go all sith it's mm -hmm. like she doesn't even have a lightsaber because she doesn't need one she could just take yours yeah, yeah, yeah it it feels um it makes by having one be less it makes the other feel so much more oh yeah no, and no so no, i think sure. that like narratively i just liked that that taking that angle of it where it's like okay maybe this lady isn't a full jedi and then you see like literally, her daughter feels like a wizard, and I like no, that yeah, feeling yeah. where it's that like, is "Oh cool. my gosh, Master Sorceress!" Like lights up the fire, and I like that where our MC almost feels outmatched, where she's like, "I don't know how to do this." That is true. No, it was really cool because you know, I, yeah, she she did take. I mean, did she even use the force at all? I don't. I don't even think we saw her well, use the force at all. Isn't um, isn't using? I feel like, um, I, if I remember correctly, like they they could use the force in order to like dodge things and that's like true. to so it's predict to certain. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, why they're yeah. so good at fighting, right? And they're yeah. like able to dodge, you know, whatever. That's true. That's um, true. So I'm not sure. I mean, she could have just we didn't see her explicitly the use the no. force. So she, she could just be like a really well trained warrior. Yeah, it could be it. that. No, for sure. I I did like now that you mentioned it. She did take her weapon. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't have a weapon. That's no. interesting because yeah, it makes her feel more like. Bro, I'm like a wizard. Like, well, it's not like, like this a, ending thing art here where it's like one of them has a lightsaber and she just has the force and she's like, bring it. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not like um, where everyone always has their uh, their lightsaber. It's no. it, it that you know, it's the whole idea of like this being more ancient, right? It's like yeah, I'm the magic user. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, the yeah. the sword. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And That's I love cool. that. I that love is that. really cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments. Feel free to fill us in on all, dude. I really want to read the comments. So please tell us about the story. Tell us how it connects. Tell us where we're wrong or right in Star Wars. Or I always kind of love having discussions about that. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Always feel free to check out our other Star Wars content on the channel, Bando and uh, soon to be Boba Fett. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Give us some more cinematics to watch on the channel here. Thank you for joining us and we will see you all in the next video.